This is GABNET, the Great American Broadcast Network, now in its seventh year. Talk like you've never heard it before. Hey everybody, look at that, hey in red letters, it's my name, Alex, and it's the Ramble, we go till midnight tonight, from New York, New York, uh, hello everybody, how are you, uh, good to see you again, and uh, uh, I have a little bit of sniffles tonight, I don't know why, I hope I'm not catching a cold, wait a minute, you know what I did, I don't know. hold on a second, I went out and I bought, these always work for me, I don't know about you, but these always work for me. I went out and bought two big packages of coldies. <laughs> you ever try coldies? If you think you're getting a cold, it's good to take the coldies because, well, wait a minute, let me explain this uh, to our, our guest on the first part of this program, uh, Phil Meyer, uh, and I'll explain to him. Why? Do you know why coldies work, uh, Phil? Uh, do you have any idea, huh? Are you there? Are you there? Y yes, I'm here. Yeah, yeah. Hey, but you're coming but you're back coming at me. me. Hold on. Hold on. What is that? What is that? Oh, I. Oh, I. No. No. What is that? I have no idea what that is. I, I'm getting a. Getting a. Listen to that. Listen to that. Yeah. Can you push it up and push it down? I try. I, now it's down. Okay, and now I push it up, push it up, up. and there it is there again. It is. Okay. Oh well, that is terrible. Terrible. No, oh, well, just, 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 just another, another little problem, problem to deal with. To deal with. Um, okay. um, it's always me on this, uh, this slapback. Huh? Huh? Just yeah, and I don't, and I don't, I don't, I don't, I don't yeah, yeah, I don't know what's don't know causing what's it. Thing. Why don't you? Why don't you? Why don't you just, don't you just hang, hang up and hang call, up back and call back again? again. Okay. And let's see what happens. Okay. Okay. Yeah. 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 Get get, get rid of you. There we go. Now you see, everything's fine. It's just fine. Uh, come on, Phil. Come back again, and we'll see what happens. You know, I know oh, it's always one thing or another, right? Uh, I'm uh I'm just uh trying to figure this whole thing out here. Come on, Phil. Call me back. I don't know why he, uh, let me see here. Now, it went away. The problem went away. And now it's gone. Now talk now to, talk to, to no, no, you see, once, once you, turn you turn up your, 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 your mic, your mic. If, you if you mute your, your mic, mic, this doesn't, doesn't happen. happen. Uh, it, it, uh, it says join with computer audio. Join with join computer with audio? audio? Yeah. 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 Well, well, all I know, I know is, okay, okay. Mute, yourself, mute yourself, Phil. Uh, Phil. Uh, mute mute, uh, mute uh, yourself. Mute. Okay, are you muted? See, and now I'm fine. So it's something on your end. I don't know what it uh, is. What is. All right, so. Uh, uh, and you're, you're very you're low. Very your low. audio's audio. very low as well. Well, uh, let, me, let me try that. Is that better? Uh, um, not really. Not really. It says the as somebody the, said the said echo is the, the same, same last yeah, Friday when Friday Phil, came, Phil came, on. came on. Yeah, but it stopped. Yeah, but it yeah, stopped. But it's, now what's your now, problem? What's your, there's something there. Something there. Uh, I don't know. Let me, turn off. Turn off. Turn off any turn audio, audio you might have might coming have, in. in. Uh, any what? Any audio, any audio of me you might, me have, might have coming have, in. Yeah. I have uh, nothing. I just yeah, need to yeah. zoom. Uh, wait a minute. Original sound on. Let me turn it. Uh, yeah. Yeah. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Let me see Let me here. See. Yeah, yeah. I, I shouldn't be I sh getting this. Uh, now I got original sound off. Now That's you're not, okay. Okay, there, there's something in a, a Zoom setting that yeah. uh, that it didn't like. Uh, hey, uh, first of all. Yeah. Uh, well, I, uh, uh, are we okay now, folks? I guess we're okay. Yeah. yeah all right. So, let me let me uh, also bring Phil's audio up a little bit here. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, I'm going to have to... Get there we go. I got it okay. It was, okay. Um, it was a problem on my end. See, what right. happens... Let me explain something to people. Oh, excuse me if you saw that, folks. Uh, 
but it, whenever I want something, it always puts it in the middle of my picture. Uh, no, what happened was is I go off the air on Friday night, and I don't come back in to, onto this machine until Wednesday night. And between that time, all kinds of things change. And I, stuff I don't pay attention to and don't know and so on and so forth. So uh, please excuse us, folks, if we have a little bit of a problem there. Okay? Yeah. All right. Well, uh, hey, I, I can uh, imitate uh, Kamala Harris in, in Paris. No, no, this is not nice. You're not yeah. going to be nice, are you? Let me, let me, you're, let not me, gonna, you're not going to be nice. Okay, try this. Every little breeze seems to whisper Louise. You know, she uh, she mocked the uh, the French. First she says, we took your submarine, and now I'm going to do a bad imitation of the French. No, no, no. She was doing Maurice Chevalier. Well, wasn't I? <laughs> no, that was Maurice Chevalier. Ah. Every little breeze seems to whisper Louise. So, right, yeah. exactly. Yeah, so she was doing an honor to a very famous German Nazi. I mean, French Nazi. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, was he a Nazi? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Everybody's a Nazi. Yeah, you know, even uh, Biden says. Even, even uh, your chroma key looks crappy. I know. I I don't understand what's going on. Maybe maybe my uh, Mac Pro is dying. I don't know. No, it's not dying. No, you know? no. Uh, yeah. Well, yeah. The chroma key doesn't look that good. Yeah. Uh, let me see. Move that. It, yeah. Uh, yeah. It's a little better. A little right. better. But. Who knows? Yeah, there anyway. must be something there. Yeah. So, but, uh, so immediately you come on and you diss Kamala Harris. You know, you can't, right. can't stand it, can you? Well, uh, I guess everybody's dissing Kamala Harris right now. I don't know. I haven't been dissing her, and I don't know anybody else that's been dissing her because she hasn't been and made herself that apparent. Uh, she, uh, I guess she's been uh, being mocked for putting on a phony French accent. In, uh, well, and in who's mocking that? I don't know where anybody did, else who where, isn't mocking where, where, no, where did you see that? Well, it wasn't on Gabnet, that's for that's sure. That's for damn sure. <laughs> and I didn't know that she even was in France, to tell you the damn truth. Yeah. Uh, I think, uh, w w did she go to that climate thing? That, was I, don't, that, I don't know, but let me I, give you a little piece of advice. Yeah. Nobody cares what the vice president does or doesn't do. Okay. Yeah. Because they, think, were, they yeah. were they were they were supposed to stand by the sidelines and wait to the guy for the guy next to them to drop dead. Well, that's probably going to happen soon. But uh, did you, um, you know, did you hear some of the things that are going on with the uh, seventeen-year-old that's on trial for murder in uh, Kenosha, Wisconsin? What do you mean things that are going on? I watched a bit of it today because it was on, and Marjorie watches MSNBC, and so they were doing their thing. Oh, were they uh, were they uh, dubbing his testimony on MSNBC? What do you mean dubbing his testimony? They had somebody that said, "I'm guilty. I'm guilty." Uh, uh, you know, when he would move his lips. Uh, well, what's, on MSNBC. what's the point you're trying to make? Well, what, what I'm trying to make is, it looks like the the kid's going to get uh, he's going to get off uh, on the murder charges. Uh, you know, I. I came away saying to myself... By the way, by the way, the trial you're watching, if I'm not mistaken, is not a murder trial. Oh, yeah. He no. killed... No, he it's, killed not, one guy. it's not a murder trial. Well, He uh, already... He already... Didn't he already com uh, confess to it and say that he was guilty and plead guilty no, on those charges? No, he said it was self-defense. Oh, but he didn't say... It, then who, who a few weeks ago p pled guilty... Uh, to uh, it a, wasn't to this. To a, oh, I know who it was. Okay, I'm my mistake. It was the kid down in Florida. Oh, uh, uh, what, what did the kid in Florida do? The school. He killed a whole ton oh, of people. Oh, that guy. Yeah. 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 He pled guilty. Uh, yeah. yeah. Took his mother's gun and uh, went and shot. Hey, the listen. Plate. You know, I'm not. Uh, I'm not saying this guy's guilty or not guilty. The kid uh, uh, that's on trial in Wisconsin. Uh, well, I, uh, I, you know, I'm listening to the testimony, and then I'll make up my mind. Yeah, you know, it's it's funny. Uh, Biden said that not only was he guilty, but he was a white supremacist. And uh, did you know, Biden early, say that? That's according to the news that I heard. Well, that, the news uh, that you hear is different than the news we hear. 
Right, because the news you hear, they got somebody dubbing uh, dubbing over his voice. No, no, they're yeah. just running the thing, and uh, you know they're discussing what's going on, and uh, 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 you know, I mean, I think, look, you kill two people, you got to be held to account for it. Okay. He shot one. He killed one. I don't know. Was it two? No, he killed two. Yeah, I'm, I may be mistaken. You know, I can I be honest with you, Phil. I really am not paying attention to the news these days. Yeah. I am so sick of the news. I'm so sick of how they report it. All of them. Yeah. All of them. Uh, you know, I just I it, feed me the facts or feed me the information. Okay, un. I, uh, untainted uh, I, and let me make up my own decision i saw a report that said that fox viewers are more inclined to uh to accept uh, phony news uh now i don't know which news service said that this is uh, the way well, it that's is obvious but, they watch fox news yeah well uh, you know, I, I think it's the only uh, fair news on, uh, you know, uh, available today. It's the only fair news. Are you kidding me? Are no. you really kidding me? I mean, look, I if you want to say that MSNBC is biased, okay, yeah. uh, and and I I don't like the term fake news because it tends to say that it's all fake. It just is reported from a certain perspective uh, that is is not not giving you the best possible information but that's no less true of fox okay no you less think, true of fox you think the the news media uh and the non-fox news media because i don't think they they called for his uh his execution uh do you think that the the news media came out early on and painted this guy rittenhouse to be a white supremacist and uh and a number of other I, uh, from my perspective no they didn't uh, because I didn't see anything to that effect. But then again, I wasn't paying a lot of attention to it. But yeah. I seriously doubt that at least MSNBC or CNN were saying that he was guilty uh, and, and portraying him as guilty uh, because that would go against a code of broadcasters, and that is the, the, the trying of a case in the press. Well, uh, that's that's happened quite quite a bit. It's even happened with Trump and the dossier. Uh, you had uh, no, no, no. But we're, uh, Schiff, hmm? you had Adam Schiff read the dossier into it, uh, the Steele dossier into the minutes mm -hmm. of uh, of Congress. Well, I mean, and, he felt that that was uh, salient and important, you know, uh, information. Uh, Except found out now that it's false. Well, um, I don't know. We found out it's false. It's just that you'd like to believe it's false. But let's face it. Look, Phil. Be honest. Trump was a sleaze bag. Come on. You know, forget about anything else. This guy was sleazy, skeezy. Um, he was hiding stuff. He was trying to subvert the election. I mean, he did all those things, Phil, and you can't, you're, I don't know how you as an intelligent person can sit there and deny it. But he made the, tr the trains run on time. Yeah, right, right, right. Mussolini. <laughs> yeah, uh, hey, isn't that why they accepted Mussolini? Uh, that Yes. And didn't Trump... But in the end, in the end, in the end, they strung him up by his feet. Well, uh, you know, they're trying to do that to Trump right now. No, no, no. They actually hung, hung him, him up by his feet. Well, yeah. Well, a lot of a lot of these guys, uh, it doesn't it doesn't. The, bode the well. reason we the reason we wouldn't hang him by his feet is there's no scaffold in America that could hold him. <laughs> yeah. Well, you know, he's good for fast food. Yeah. yeah. Well, I mean, I just think that you know, I mean, I. You know, Phil, you've got to come to the realization that you had a real sleaze bag there. I mean, there are a lot of good Republicans and a lot of good ones that could become president. You know, and, and I'm sure so, uh, in another few years they will. Yeah. But, uh, but why now? And, why now does the Republican Party side with a man who, to begin with, lost the election? Okay, it's not like he was a winner for the party. Well, you know, some people don't believe that he lost. No, no, no. Beyond that, you ask most of these Republican senators and congressmen, did he lose fair and square? And they will say yes. 
it, it doesn't matter if he won or he lost. If you go against Trump, Trump still has a lot of um, cachet. No, uh, Trump is uh, still a candidate. Trump, Trump is still a bully. I, I understand. Trump's a bully. Biden's a bully. He no, just Biden can't remember. Biden, 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 remember. Biden is not a bully. That, well, you you can't be proud of what Biden's doing. No, I'm not proud of Biden. I think he's a pussy. You know, Re but 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 nevertheless, he's our pussy. Yeah, uh, regardless you know. of what Trump, uh, whether you like Trump or not, if you take Trump out of the equation and you look at what Biden is doing right now, uh, he's he's putting us in a very dangerous situation. Well, what's what dangerous situation is he putting well, us in? I have a feeling China is going to take uh, on uh, Taiwan. Uh, the Russians are going to attack Ukraine. Uh, the and, thing, the thing, uh, the thing, these are very the, to real begin things. with. The thing that's been going on with Taiwan has been going on for f ever, ever since Mao took over China. Okay. Yes, but the the idea is is that he was held in check by guys like Trump. Uh, but Biden seems to acquiesce to uh, no. He to doesn't. China's he doesn't history. acquiesce to China at all. Name a name a way in which he's acquiesced to China. Uh, he has um, uh, well, as far as China goes, I guess he acquiesced to Russia. No, by, wait a minute, um, wait a minute. We're getting back to China. Don't change okay. the discussion. Uh, he he hasn't done anything to uh, to deal with China, whether it's his climate uh, issues. Uh, China has basically called the shots whenever. Phil, uh, I asked you specifically, what has he done? To enable China. In other words, what is, what has he done where he has sided with China? Well, he hasn't sided with no, China. No, he hasn't done anything against, with China. That's the, that's the point. Well, no, he hasn't no, done but no, anything. no. There, you you have to be very careful politically what you do because let's face it, with China now you're not dealing with just some other tin horn communist country. Oh, you, they, you're dealing with a very powerful. powerful economic force in this world, right? And, and now military. And I think where, where you, your boy was really wrong, Trump, was that he got them mad at uh, us. And, no, and getting, I, getting them mad at us didn't serve any purpose. Uh, no, you, you sound like Montbatten. And, uh, no, but World it didn't War serve II. any purpose to simply uh, get the Chinese mad at him. I, I tell you, what Trump did is he said, this is what they're doing, and I'm not going to sit here and smile while they do it to us. Phil, they did what they did is they they started having an economic windfall in China, and they started taking economic advantage of the world. They they were able to you know do a lot of stuff there, which uh, uh, you know I mean so big deal. Uh, we did the same thing. You know, you know, we we, we for years for years we had economic dominance over the rest of the world, and but we weren't and, and using we it to. Oh, we uh, treated the rest the of the world. We yes, we did. Oh, oh how was that? we did in many ways. I mean, a lot of the decision countries would make decisions based on the fact they want to piss off the United States. You know, uh, the same thing. I mean, yeah, I think the United States. I was think it's a, in our best interest to get along with China and to have an, uh, some kind of economic parity, but ask that they not undercut us, they not inf artificially inflate their currency and things like that. You know? That's what Trump asked for, but they, they refused. Oh, yeah, and they refused. So what did Trump get done? Well, he put he didn't, the tariffs no, he, on he, them. No, he put tariffs. And, and who, who do tariffs come back to bite in the ass? Well, they... Uh, Phil, who do tariffs the come back to fight in the ass? I tell right, you how yes. it comes back to uh, benefit. No, no, we are it, it, buying Phil, you American didn't answer products. my question. Uh, uh, okay, I'm answering your question. I, as a merchant, mm -hmm. stop buying, uh, if, if at all possible, any Chinese product. Mm -hmm. And the reason being is that the price went up and I started buying American product. Mm -hmm. But unfortunately, even the American manufacturers then raise their price to have parity with the Chinese price. So I, uh, it's what uh, I'm saying is, is that who got hurt the most by the tariffs were you and me, and what we pay in the grocery store, what we pay in various, uh, you know, for various uh, things we want like electronics and so on. We paid, we paid those tariffs. Those tariffs aren't coming out of the pockets of China. I know you don't drive. So you don't care about the price of gas, but uh, you do buy meat. And have you noticed that the price of meat's gone up 25%? Oh, well, it's gone up 50%. Are you kidding me? It's gone up a, a, a lot. 
And where do we get that meat from? Well, I thought that was domestic. Uh, yeah. So how come that meat is costing us so much if, if, if American goods should be cheaply because, priced? Because of inflation, and the inflation is happening because uh, other products are, are going up. Uh, we have, you know, there are areas of the country that gas is $6 a gallon. Now, I paid I've, five. I've heard regular. five. I've heard five. Well, yeah. I paid five uh, two days ago. Yeah. And and it's going to keep going up. Well, so get an electric car. Yeah, well, no, because uh, I can't I can't deal with something with that. Oh, wait a minute. I forgot. If everybody in America had an electric car, we wouldn't be able to charge. No, the power grid couldn't take it. Right. Yeah. Because Uh, we haven't done anything about our infrastructure. Well, if you want to drive 700 miles, it it could take uh, three times as long to do that because you have to plan on stopping at charging stations and uh yeah but at that point if everybody in america had electric cars there'd be charging stations everywhere virtually everywhere but it takes a long time to charge no uh, the quick chargers will get you up and running in about 40 minutes yeah uh you know but i can pump a tank of gas in five yeah that's true but you got to stop and take a pee don't you or maybe oh, while you're there, get a coffee so you'll have to stop and pee again. Pee again, yeah. You know, I mean, right? Yeah. So while you're there, you you juice up. Well, uh, the the electric cars uh, just don't have the range right now. They will. I, I like they the will. Hydrogen. They, they, I like the yeah. hydrogen cars, and if the uh, uh, Toyota Mirai wasn't so ugly, and there were a few more hydrogen stations around, yeah, uh, that. That makes that sense. might be an because answer I'd like too. to burn water. Yeah, that that might be an answer. You know, um, I mean, years ago, one of the original cars, one of the original cars that oh was, yeah ran on uh, water. Uh, it, well, steam. The, what was called the Stan- it was the Stanley Steamer, right? And uh, it ran on steamer. It basically, ran like a locomotive runs. Right. The ro- locomotive essentially runs on steam. Mm-hmm. Okay. I mean, all it's funny. You look at those old trains. All the air, air are is a boiler on wheels. You, you know? know, I saw a, an old Citroen from World War II. Yeah, and the guy had a wood burning stove on the trunk, and they and he burned wood to power his car. Have you ever seen that photo? Well, Citroens didn't do that. He had to adapt it. Oh, he adapted it, yeah. Yeah. Uh, But it was just, it happened to be a photograph of a Citroen traction event. The cheapest uh, cheapest car in the world, I think, was a Citroen du Chavot, which was the two-cylinder. Those are cool. (laughs) Well, when Uh, I I was on Ibiza and went to Ibiza in the early days, most of the people for cars there had do chavos you know right. because they were great you for should, short little trips yeah. back and forth you know they um they're little three cylinder cars and uh i think you mix the gas and the oil and um but the du chavou was supposed to du chavo is two wagon. cylinder that's what do do oh. do no uh, do do is d-e-u-x yeah i know but uh two cylinder cylinders yeah. what's the uh chavou I don't know what that means. Probably cylinders. We should ask that. Kamala Harris. Well, let's see. Cheval is a horse. Yeah. Yeah. Because yeah. I, I stayed at a place uh, during the Olympics called Kershaval. And mm-hmm. Kershaval translated means a uh, horse slaughter. Uh, this is where they used to slaughter horses for meat. Oh. Yeah. Uh, I used to eat in a restaurant in Oakland called uh, Le Cheval which was a Vietnamese restaurant uh, mm-hmm. with sort of a California twist, and uh, they had a big horse in the front. That was their... Uh, yeah, Le Cheval. Yeah. Le Cheval, yeah. 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 And, so with the little French I know, okay? Yeah. The rest of it, nah. Yeah. yeah. Well, every but, little breeze seems to whisper Louise. Yes. Mm-hmm. Well... I have a feeling that on, you know, on, oh, also Gavin Newsom, he's been gone for a couple of weeks and he says he's been trick or treating in Scotland Mm -hmm. with his kids. Yeah. So doesn't he deserve a vacation? It's been a hell of a year for him. Uh, Yeah. Well, uh, you know, why? I I wonder why when a, when a pot, when something like a president goes away for a two week vacation. Or when yeah. the governor goes away for a two-week vacation, everybody gets on his case. 
Nobody gets on your case when you take a two-week vacation. Yeah, uh, you know, I can't take a two-week vacation. Uh, you know, if I do, the I come back and the employees have screwed up this and screwed up that. It, it's almost like they want to take, um, uh, they, they want to get a piece of me because I dared take a vacation while they were working. Mm -hmm. By the way, I want to bring something up here um, I, because I, I heard from um, our old friend um, um, Damien Chaplin. And he said, oh, how's well, he doing? Well, yeah, well, fine. He said, why are, you, why are you not doing Tuesdays? Why are you not doing Tuesdays? And I had to write him back. And it's the answer. A lot of people say, why aren't you doing Tuesdays? And I said, I, and the reason is I finally decided I was doing four days a week, right? Yeah. I'm still doing four days a week, but I'm doing one of them on Monday. At right. four in the afternoon. But, you know, I gave you a suggestion, which was to take Monday, switch it to Thursday, and do Friday. No, I don't. Uh, I don't want to move that show. Oh, a lot really? of people are just used to it. The people who call it, it's a very civil, nice show. Well, yeah, you know that's why I don't call in. Right. But uh, <laughs> and we the, appreciate that. I'm sure you do. But the, the then move move uh, this one to uh, to Tuesday. And why? it'll make Damien happy. Why? Because then you'll have the rest of the week off. You'll work Monday, Tuesday, and then you'd have Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday, Sunday. But I don't want that of them off. I'm I'm not. I have nothing against working four night four days a week. It's just that since I was doing that, I was doing five a week, and I had gotten away from that. And so I finally mm -hmm. decided to lock off one day that we're doing at night, and then it's back to the four days. Well, I yeah. thought it was so you could uh, silence the Republican on Tuesday. Yeah. Mm. Oh, yeah, you were on on Tuesday. Right. Well, now I have to silence the Republican on Wednesday. Yeah, but it's harder Wednesday. Oh, really? Know? No, okay. All right. Yeah. Uh, so anyway, anything new in your life? Uh, no, I'm just still working out, and I'm trying to follow that uh, that diet, and I, I fall off the wagon almost every night. Mm -hmm. Tonight, uh, I stopped and got a pizza. Small oh, one. Well, you, the, you, to, yeah, you don't do that. I know. Well, Because it hey, throws I, you all I, off balance. Uh, um, um, Sugar-wise. Sugar-wise, yeah. Well, this, in the morning, I usually have an egg, a very small slice of bread, and, uh, and um, uh, a sausage. See, I would, I, 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 I've gained about 20 pounds, and I wanna, I'd like to lose it again. But I think part of the reason I gained it was... Was uh, the um, uh, the what do you call it? the uh, prostate? Atkins? No, the prostate oh. operation. Oh, yeah, yeah that, that's a possibility. I think that caused some of my weight gain, and the rest of it is that I'm on this thing called pregabalin for the neuropathy, and mm -hmm. that puts weight on you. Yeah. So I gained Every, about I gained about twenty pounds, but I'm still thirty pounds lighter than I was. You know. Yeah. So. Well, I. Um... Uh, I've been doing uh, the exercise pretty religiously. I haven't missed a class. What do you do? You pray every time you have to exercise? Uh, yeah. Oh God, when will this be over? Yeah. Right. <laughs> but uh, and but what happens with the food is I, I got it down to where I had the breakfast. Then I uh, went to work and I have a protein shake. Then for lunch I have a salad that uh, mm -hmm. I get at like Trader Joe's. Then later in the afternoon I have another protein shake. And by the and time for I'm, dinner, you have oh. lasagna. Oh, uh, yeah, I am so <laughs> famished. <laughs> by the time I get home, uh, and then I, actually, know, I only eat about one meal a day. If I don't, if I don't eat, yeah. if, if I just you know, get up and I just do a lot of other stuff, I, I'm not hungry till about dinner time. Yeah, are you ravenous when you do have dinner? No, no. Huh. But you know, I, it's just I can't seem to lose, even though I'm, I'm not eating that much. You know, yeah, uh, and well, even though some, I'm maybe I'm still, some of the things still, that you're substituting, well, I know, I'm still watching the carbs and everything. I, I know, but some of the things that you're substituting that ice cream thing and so forth. No, uh, that's keto. You know, I know that's keto. It's, it's only it's, it's two two net carbs per yeah. per bar. No, really, it, it's because uh, I lost eighty pounds when I did Atkins, and I gained back sixty of it. Yeah, uh, well, you see, you were younger too. And it was five. It took five years. Yeah, but you but were I, younger at that time. Remember, I've I've lost weight at times when I was younger. The last yeah. weight loss I had, I I did when I was older, and I managed to get lose what fifty, sixty pounds, something like that. 
Yeah. And uh, uh, that was good. Uh, I look a bit unhealthy, but it, you know, I, I, I don't mind losing so much weight that people go, is he got some kind of terminal illness? You know? Well, I, you know, he, I, you know, I haven't seen you in person, uh, in a long time, yeah. but, uh, it, I don't think, you know, uh, that you look like you need that you need to lose any weight no no no, i I think i'm okay but i i still like to lose a little bit in the gut and i got you know but i mean it has to do with the fact that uh i i've got a lot of situations here that i it's not easy for me to you know well the lawsuit thing probably took uh an emotional toll not not winning but uh going through it oh yeah oh yeah oh no i mean it, it you know, I mean, Marjorie would like to think that we just sat here, and everybody would like to think we just sat here not paying rent and being very happy about that. It's stressful. You know, but I worried about it every day because I felt guilty about not paying rent. You know, well, in the end, we wound up paying $1,800 a month over those eight and a half years, Yeah. which is about right, you know. But it's a lot uh, easier to We wound to pay up paying it because of the settlement that we did and because of... Uh, uh, the hundred thousand dollars that Marjorie put out for the legal fees, yeah. so you know, I mean, we were happy um, when it was over. But m- when it was going on, I, I many times I would go to bed at night and just go, you know, this is not our place. We're not paying rent here. It's not ours, and now it is ours. Yeah. yeah. Well, that, I think that's fantastic. But it uh, it could take a physical. Now, let toll. me ask you this. I asked this the other day, and then we're going to go to the phones. There's nobody calling except Alan. So unless somebody else calls, well, I hope you'll stick with us a little bit so we okay. have some human beings here. Not that Alan isn't a human being, but that's questionable. Anyway, um, what was I going to say? Oh yeah, the other day I went to Costco, and I decided I'm going to buy a new stereo system for the for the living room. So I go there, and they have the uh, Vizio sound bar with a, uh, what do you call it, a woofer and rear speakers and the whole That's thing. That's for TV, right? Right, yeah. They have two versions of it. One is last year's model, and that was $200. And then there's this year's model, and that's $300. So now I go to the, I go to the checkout, and I tell the guy, I want to pay cash for this, mm-hmm. Okay. And he, he, he acts to begin with, like, what's cash? Uh, and, but I had, you know, I have a lot of loose cash around the house, and I figured I'd use that. And one thing led to another, and they mixed this up, and then they had to take this off. But they, he couldn't get it to the barcode to work. So he asked somebody, go look for the price for me. Would you give me the price of it? And they came back, and they said $200. So Now, I know that this model really is 300 Yeah, so but, what did you do? I took the discount. Well, I mean, what would you do? What do you do? Do you say to them, you know, you're really stealing from yourselves. This is really 300 Would you do that? Yeah, probably. Really? Yeah. Really? I uh, asked all the people on the I, Monday I do, show. I do that all the time. If somebody gives you the wrong change, they give you too much change. Well, that's, that's, a different, that's a different story because the the clerk is going to get in trouble if their cash right. register doesn't equal out. This the guy isn't going to get in trouble for. I, yeah, I, it doesn't matter if he's not going to get in trouble. I I enter into an agreement, and I have a responsibility to do no, the honest thing. No, no, thing. no, you're being... You're, I, I asked everybody on the Monday show, a bunch of honest yeah. people, what they... Did I do bunch anything... Of liberals, they'll take the $100 did, did, every wait a minute, time. Did I do anything wrong? And he, their answer was no. No, you didn't do anything wrong, but if you knew that it was the wrong price... Uh, I don't know. I, I'd, ha- I'd have a hard time accepting it because I pay for what All I All right. Pay. Now there are t- f- 10 people in line trying to check out. Yeah. I'm slowing it down just because I wanted to pay cash and they accidentally rang it up on the register with the rest of the thing and so on. And I'm holding people up. Now, if I say, hey, look, you know, this really costs uh, 300 not 200 He's going to have to send somebody back again to look at the price. Well, the fact that you were paying cash has no bearing on the price tag okay, on the item. Okay, but what I'm saying is, is that they, if, if I said, no, you really, uh, he'd have to send somebody back, and all these people in line would be getting very anxious. That's okay? too bad. 
Well, I'm happy that I could make their lives better. All well, right? you know, uh, I if if I buy something mm -hmm. and uh, and I enter into an agreement and agree that that's what I'm going to pay. I didn't I, enter into any agreement. I picked something off the shelf and they had yes. to ring it up. But you consciously picked the one hey, that was $300. It could be. I could be that they lowered the price on that one and I didn't know it. Well, that that's a different story. But they went and they looked to see what the price was. Did you say, are you sure? No, I, it's not my job. Well, it, it I doesn't doesn't, I'm the checkout counter. It's not my job. I was prepared to pay the 300 Right. But I paid 200 so... No, I, I, I don't go for that shit. Hmm. Uh, you know. No. Uh, well, I, all, I'm, all I'm saying is, you know, I, they're, they're I, merchants, and and they're and they they have a markup, but they're they're entitled. Wait a minute, they're merchants. I, wait a minute, hold on a second. This is Costco you're talking about. Doesn't matter. Come on, you know. Doesn't matter. This is a pimple it, it, on their. Costco this is a pimple. This is a pimple on their butt, and they're probably overcharging me for it anyway. Anyway, let me but just. Go. Is it okay to for somebody to go into a store and steal uh, merchandise because they say they need mm -hmm. it, like uh, mm -hmm. purses and uh, and and tennis shoes? You know, me, is that okay? Let me let me admit the rest of these people right. here that are are ready to go on. There's John Larkin, and there's wow. uh, just, you know. Jeff. Doesn't matter. This is a pimple. Oh, on Jeff, there. Jeff, no. Jeff, gotta, you gotta cut. You got the audio up for it anyway. Anyway, it's not Jeff. He's muted. Is he muted? Then yeah. who is it? Me. Oh, it's you. Yeah. Was you, John? Oh, okay, Jeff, yeah, you're fine then. You're fine then. Well, how about you, people? Do you agree or disagree with what I did? I agree with what you did. <laughs> how about you, John? Uh, yeah, you know, I mean, if they're so stupid, they got their, you know, thing all wrong. I'm not going to say nothing. Yeah. And if they catch me, I'm going to say, I thought I was buying the, the old model. I don't want to no, be a thief no, for a hundred dollars. No, if they said it was three hundred, I would have just said, okay, check me out, okay. Right. But they did. I, I, I'm not willing to to compromise my ethics. For okay, yeah, bucks. you're you're fucking ethics. Oh, God. Yeah, well, hey, oh, Alex, maybe you bought the old one and you didn't. You thought it was the new one. Could well be. I don't know. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, no, but I mean, I just you know, I I just uh, um, what do you think, Jeff? What should I have done? Should I have told the guy? Yeah, hey, no, no. I'm kind of like fifty fifty on this thing. Yeah, yeah. What's the 50 but you got to take into account that they're also like a line waiting to get in here, and I've been slowing up the line to begin with. Okay. Well, because he couldn't figure out the price because of the the he barcode. Was slowing the line. No, wait, not a, you. wait. Well, what I'm saying is, first, the barcode wouldn't work. Then he had to go find out what it really would cost, okay, what the price was of it. And then when that came back, he then rung it up with all my other stuff, which I didn't want. I wanted to pay cash for it. So then they had to get somebody to come by and unring up the thing and then, to pay, you know, all that stuff. This is going, people are just standing there pissed off, and I'm going to say, Hey, I think you got the price wrong, and now they're going to have Alex, to send somebody back to find out what the price is. How is it your fault? The line is long, and he's having all these problems. You were just standing there doing a transaction. If it's anybody's fault, it's the guy behind the cash register, not you. That would be Donald Trump's fault. No, yeah. well, it wasn't just the guy at the cash register because then he asked his manager to go get the price on it. Right. And the guy came back with the lower price. It was on sale. You didn't know it, Alex. It could be. It could have been. Could you know, been. that I don't know. This, this yeah. conversation was easier to listen to when I listened to the pop-up. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because everybody yeah. agreed, right, that I didn't yeah. do anything yeah. wrong. Everybody said, hey, let's rip off the let's rip off the man. You don't know yeah. that it was a rip-off. Costco well, is not the man. <laughs> I did that AP. Huh? You know what I used to do in, in AP, fact, Alex? In fact, they're starting to, to, work. to tell you that what? You know what I did at A&P when I was a kid? I worked the register. Yeah. So when the old people used to come with their fruit, you knew they didn't have a lot of money because they always would watch the prices of the register when you were ringing it up. Uh -huh. So when I used to put the fruit on top of the scale and had to put the weight in, mm -hmm. right, I used to always put it in lower for them. 
And so the produce guy used to come point. in the back and he used, like, he used to hand us the price sheet. Make sure you get the prices right, like for per pound. Yeah, I used to put, yeah, get out of here. Like, Alex, he used to Alex, in the company. You're I used to ring it in low for them all the time. Alex, you're running in the same crowd as Tony and his and his fruit ripoff. You know? I did that because they were counting the money. You saw how they looked at the register, like they saw I, how I much money up to. I, I, I admire you. Tony because he was deferring to seniors. They and, were. I mean, uh, you saw the lady looking at the register. I said, "Come on, I'm going to save this a little money." You know, and my question is, my question is because I don't pay attention to everything that gets rung up and then go add it up like some people do. Okay. I used to take this stuff and throw it right through without even bringing it up sometimes for them. You know, even know so I don't. Up. I don't do that sort of thing. I, and I, wait a minute, let me finish, let me finish, let me finish. And I don't know how many times they maybe charged me more for something than they should have. Yeah. You know, I've had dinner with you, and when the bill comes, it's like, yeah. well, Phil, you had the French fries. Yeah, but, I, you know, you had two French fries. Well, no, you yeah, know, but I don't have to pay Phil, for that. Phil, Phil, I, I never took you out to dinner, so forget it. I took it. you. Oh. I took you. Well, of course, because I'm the star. Stars yeah. don't pay. Really good to, I would have ordered dessert on them. Except, <laughs> except, except that the stuffed bagel, I didn't think I had to pay. Yeah. Uh, y yes, uh, yes, uh, uh, Jeff has got his hand up. Yeah, I want to uh, give you an ex example to consider because this happened last, uh, a day ago, mm -hmm. right down here. And uh, my... Uh, Wife went to the super supermarket. Yeah. Okay, I go there. Same same thing. All of a sudden, a whole bunch of guys. I think there were four guys. Came up there, and loaded up their carts with as much study as stuff as they could get in it. And each four guy had loaded their stuff. They had two cars. They came outside, never paid for, just ran out, loaded up the trucks. Ran out without paying for the stuff they had put in the yep. cars? Fine and dash. And the guys yelled something about, well, what do you expect for people who charge too much? Inflation's up. Take the groceries and rent. And they left. And the, oh the crazy God. thing is, some guy picked up his cell phone and started taking, <laughs> making a video of the thing. And there's a video of the four guys loading up the cars. Wow. But nothing will happen to them. Yeah, no. No. You know, uh, have you ever, like, ordered, uh, you know, I, I go to a restaurant, and let's say I order three dishes, and they charge me for two. Mm. I tell them, you know, you, I sh you know, there's another dish that you got to charge me for. Or, or oh, you know. I've, in many cases, uh, especially where yeah. there was a waiter and they were going to be responsible for that mistake, yeah. I have very much brought that up to them. But in I this case, see... I seriously doubt that anybody at Costco is going to have to pay for this thing. Does it matter? I, yeah. you know, the ethics is the same. The ethics are, I said, here's the thing I want to buy. How much? They came up, he couldn't find the price with the barcode, so he asked somebody to go look it up or to go oh. over there and find out how much it costs. And then they came back and they said $200. So okay? for a $3 soda, you won't be a thief, but for a $100 uh. Uh, stereo... You'll uh, take advantage of. Uh, you don't understand you know, what I'm saying. Alex, I'm not taking Alex, any, well, who am I taking advantage of? Costco? Yes, Come on, a multi-billion-dollar organization. At the, yeah. at, at the first of the show, before Phil came on, you were going to talk about your coldies. I would have rather heard oh, about them for a half hour. You would have rather heard about the coldies and about the, for a half hour well, than you want me. To, well, you want me to talk about coldies <laughs> for the next half hour? No. Do you know why, you don't, why you don't need me? Do you know why coldies work? Zinc. 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 I remember well, when I was in chemistry. Well, what about yeah. zinc <laughs> makes it work? What is it ah. about chemistry? You said that, what is that? There's it, something. It, it gets in the cold cells and stops them from replicating. No, no, no. Here's what happens. How you get a cold? Technically, is you is really from shaking hands or from touching something the and then. 
rubbing touching, it, and then, and then you touch your nose, then the germ gets here, right? Okay. Mm -hmm. So then it goes up the mucous membrane, okay? Mm -hmm. Oh, am I picking How my nose? How far up does it go? It, yeah. it, 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 it goes up to the, the mucous <laughs> membrane, and when it gets to a certain point, about that point where they where they get yeah. the swab in there for the, uh, for yes. the, COVID, the COVID test, test. Oh, that when it gets up there, uh, uh, up to that point, it then has, it just goes and infects the entire mucous membrane system, and you have a cold, all right? Even now, you Costco. when you are taking <laughs> zinc, it prevents those germs from doing that, okay? It prevents them from sticking to the membrane. And, I haven't uh, had a cold in years, and I take zinc zyme. Yeah, well, this is the same thing. This is zinc. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh. So if you feel a cold coming on, immediately take the coldies or take one of the zinc medicines. You could do any of them, actually. And uh, you'll you will not have a cold. Uh, you won't get a cold. I don't think. I you know. I, I take zinc daily, whether I have a cold coming on or not. It's good for your immune system, Phil. Yeah. Is it really? Okay. Yes, yeah, absolutely. Yeah, and coldies are good because the, the, the reason was they came out. The trouble was when you ask people to take zinc, it was very difficult to take because it didn't taste it horrible and everything. And yeah, coldies, it. coldies figured a way of doing it that wasn't disgusting. Okay, to put, put it put plainly. it in a piece of candy. Yeah, put it in a piece of candy, and uh, That's what they did. and then you put it under your tongue and you just let it dissolve. Yeah. You know, I swallow a capsule uh, that has the zinc in it. Mm -hmm. Okay, there's another way of doing it. You know, uh, also, so your stuff also it. has a laxative pill. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. So uh, why don't you, you know, Phil, you talk about your diet. That's always interesting. I hear him talk about yesterday you went and had sashimi and no rice and no carbs. And I thought, good boy. Yeah, that's good. Although Sunday we had a class together Sunday in Vacaville. And we went to a place that made these really great roast beef sandwiches. It was almost like sliced steak. <clears throat> mm -hmm. It came on a big roll, like a huge hot dog roll, except mm -hmm. for it was a different type of bread. Mm -hmm. And I'm I, I'm in my fourth fork full of meat out of the bread. He's done with the bread and the meat. Well, yeah. But I see what eat. you do if you get a sandwich like that, and I'm sure it's a wonderful sandwich. Is mm -hmm. you open the thing and then you just eat the meat. You don't That's what eat I did. the bread. That's well, what I did. The the, the bread. Ended up, there was a vacuum that uh, put the food in my mouth, and 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 you know it's like a Hoover. So you turn it on, and all of a sudden, all the bread, all the meat is in the mouth. But I did have roasted. That's vegetables. what she said. Yeah, right. I had roasted vegetables, uh, and uh, I think Alan did too. But yes, I ate mine. You left yours there. No, he ate his. He ate everything. He ate the stems. Well, if you, if you didn't eat so fast, I would have eaten yours too. <laughs> and yeah, you were you were done in less than five minutes. I'm a quick eater. Well, welcome I'm, to our new I'm our new format, eater. ladies and gentlemen. Two slightly overweight people argue food. Slightly yeah. overweight. Well, slightly I'm trying overweight. to be nice I would about call it. myself. Slightly overweight. Yeah. I'm trying to. Well, Phil's people ask me how to. Yeah, since you went on this diet, they've asked me how Phil looks thin, and I said fat. <laughs> you know, I, I must have a picture somewhere of me uh, when I was thinner. Well, of uh, course you had a picture when you were Your bar mitzvah picture. Yeah. 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 Well, let's see. Uh, here, I'll, 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 I got uh, a, speaking of getting <laughs> fat, do you remember the actor Brendan Fraser? You know, I was yeah. getting hey, my bar mitzvah. Wait, 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 hold, hold on a second. Hold on. Tony oh. knows what I'm talking about. Have you seen Brent, have you, you know the actor Brendan Fraser? Basic movie hunk for a lot, yeah. a lot, a lot of time, for a long time. It's like my uncle Arnold. What about? Have him? you seen him lately? Oh, no. he looks. He, he must be depressed or something, or he's just holding, eating pizzas. Uh, Didn't it, he it, gain that weight for uh, a movie? No, <laughs> he looked. He didn't look well to me. No, well, I, I, he's doing a show called Doom Patrol, and yeah, he, he plays the, the robot, right? He plays the robot, but he basically just does the voice. He doesn't have to oh, yeah. wear the suit. But then there was an episode where he plays himself. 
before he became the robot. And he has, and I've, I've seen him over the years. I'm going, he's gaining a little weight. He oh, is he, now, he, 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 he is just really fat. Alex, what you I just, he looks older, Alex. I just he's... sent you a picture of me with my mother. Uh, 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 which is a picture uh, of you when I look like uh, Wait, when you were seven. Just uh, <laughs> a year or two before you moved to, San, uh, to Sausalito. Hmm. Day six. Hmm. You sent this by um, uh, to Messenger. You know uh, the to Messenger. Uh, the, yeah, the, but it didn't come through messenger. that way. But here it is. Let me see here. Oh, attachment unavailable. <laughs> you know he does that a lot, Alex. <laughs> All right. Well, let me let me save the photo. And then send attachment that. unavailable. That's what she said. Uh, <laughs> you got famous for thing. sending unavailable attachments. Yeah. Well, let's see. I select, uh, select, and then I send it. Uh huh. Okay. Uh, to the same. Yeah. Yeah. I'm waiting. I'm. I'm waiting. We're all waiting. We're all waiting. This is. Uh, hey, it's good to see you on well, the show. While John. while we're waiting, I'll tell you all about coldies. All right. So. This is what I looked like when you were living in Sausalito. And that was my mother next. Wait a minute. Hold on a second. I'm trying. The picture isn't coming oh, she's through. She's still your mother, Phil. Yeah. The picture isn't coming through. How can it not come oh. hmm. Well, maybe it's going to take a minute because you got a slow internet. No, I don't. Everybody on side chat is laughing about Phil not being able to get his picture. Oh, the side chat people. Except Paul. Uh, Here's me when I was in the Civil War. <laughs> <laughs> Hold on a second. Where is it? Uh, bu 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 let me okay. see. Okay, I'll I'll send it to uh, your phone. Phil, my I wouldn't know. Are you, you going to send it to my phone? Not, where is my phone? Uh, yeah. It's, oh, it's in the other room. Oh, okay. So now I'll send it to your email. How's that? So you're sending it to my email now. Right. Yeah. So all you got to do is put your phone up. I can show you when I was 21 years old if I can get it to. I hate it's, the light. Light. it's not getting me when I was 30. Yeah, I don't know. I just I hate the light. I can't get the light right. But anyhow, when I graduated from the police academy, mm -hmm. the best health of my life. That's me when I was well, 30. I never, I, got had the I never got the mail either, I Phil. Wow, I like those tits you had there, John. Oh, oh that, was, that was next to you. There you go. I, I, uh, here. Uh, that, that was me. See? Oh, wait a minute. Wait a minute. Here it is. Here oh. it is. You look here, a little here, short here, in that. Here it uh, is. I can uh, show. I can. I, I can show people because we can go over. Right. Uh, so if you want to wanna the, see hold, me, hold on a second. Not, so we can go. Fat. There we go, folks. There he is. Okay. There's right, Phil. Right. Uh, he's. Uh, he, here we go. See. Here's Phil. Let me move this over. I can't even see it on Facebook right now. Huh? Where did the picture yeah. come up? I don't see it on Facebook. Yeah. 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 It looks like... Oh, there it is. There it is. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. So that's me. Yeah. And that's my mother. Except she's 95 now. Wow. Or, is is she really 95? Three. She's 93. She was... She's hoping to inherit from you. What was that? Your bar mitzvah? Or what was that? Uh, it was my uh, oh. sister's wedding. Sure. Your me when I was in winning. high school. Well, wait a minute. Hold on a second. Let I'm me go. Now. Let me go back to the panel. There we go. What happened, John? <laughs> I was only about twelve or thirteen or fourteen. You, you know, I, I've, oh, been, I've been watching a series on YouTube called The Lieutenant, and there's this guy Gary Lockwood, mm -hmm. and I guess he's been in a, in a lot of stuff, and in, including Star Trek and and so forth. Yeah. And as the lieutenant the, in 1960, uh, you know, he looked like a real squared away Marine. And as Gary Lockwood, in an interview, he was about 700 pounds. He, he made Alan look thin. What show was that he was on, you said? Well, The Lieutenant. It was the a Lieutenant. Gene Roddenberry. Yeah, G Gene Roddenberry produced it. And then when he went and did... Um, um, Star Trek? Star Trek. He used him for something on Star yeah, Trek. Yeah, yeah. And uh, he was also the voice of Hal in, uh, in, in that uh, Space Odyssey. Well, 2001? 2000. No, he yeah. wasn't. Yeah, yeah. No, I, he, he wasn't. Said so no. On the interview. Well, he's a liar. Wow. <laughs> uh, who was the voice of Hal? Douglas Rain. Yes. Well, uh, a Canadian, well, is... a Canadian radio actor. So, so if you IMDb Gary Lockwood, the, and it, well, he will not. Oh, you know where Gary Lockwood? He was in two thousand one. Oh, he was. I thought he. Was yeah, he played. Of... He played the guy that gets killed. Oh. By by Hal, played by Douglas oh, oh, Rain. Yeah, I knew there was a Hal connection. Everybody, everybody, 
the drinking can't game. Time to have a drink. Yeah. Yeah, you're all a bunch of lushes on this panel. Yeah, cared, cared. that's not the point to drinking, Phil. Yeah, I love I love your commercial, Alex, where it says, "Here's Phil Meyer talking." Here, you say something, everybody lie, everybody drink. Yeah, lie, mm-hmm. yeah. everybody drink. And that was Jim Browning did that. He that was oh a, that that is brilliant. that is great. I love that. I love that when I hear that on your show. Hmm. But uh, no. yeah, he I mean, people could get drunk real quick listening to Phil. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. yeah, well, but if they listen to Fox or News... Or want to commit suicide, true. one or the other. Yeah. What? Hey, if they listen to Fox, everything I say is true. Yeah. <laughs> yeah I yes. don't think any of us listen to Fox, so yeah. why would we? Well, that's your loss, you know? Uh-huh. Half the time I quote you something off of Fox News, you say that, they, that they're too liberal. They are sometimes. Uh-huh. <laughs> you like uh-huh. Newsmax, right? Uh, well, now it's too liberal for him, too. Oh, OAN, OAN uh, then. He probably I, likes yeah, OAN. I, I like OAN, but I can't get it. Uh, I don't get it either. Nobody will fucking <laughs> carry him. I don't want to get it. Yeah, yeah, nobody will either. carry him. That's too crazy. Fox been, News is enough. Today, today they, uh, they uh, Twitter um, mm-hmm. uh, uh, took um, one of the people who was on OAN, one of their anchors, and banned her from Twitter. Well, they, they ban everybody from Twitter. No, hey, they, you know, they, you banned know her, somebody... they banned her from Twitter because uh, she was lying about uh, COVID and about the, uh, you know, the COVID, you know, like take ivermectin, it's good for you, you know, okay. things like that, you know. So, so something, that, something that your pop-up on Monday, good show. One of these days, maybe I'll get on it and just... Uh, don't do him any favors. Be quiet. Yeah. Well, no, no, no. I'm not, I'm not you. So, at towards the end of the show, Vernon said, the news here is saying COVID is over with. And 30 seconds later, Charlie said, oh, that's crazy. We have 75,000 people a day here. And, you know, it, it must really suck for Vernon living in an all-Republican area and all the news says COVID's over with. Which of course it's not. It's going back up again, because it's the winter. It's yeah. Alan. It's better yeah. than it was, Alan. We'll oh, have absolutely. to admit that. Is absolutely. there is there any truth to the thing I heard today, which is there are fewer cases of COVID in Florida where they're not locked down at all, as a comparison to California where they're locked down. Everywhere. I think it's not true, Phil. I think California has pretty low infection rate now probably the lowest in the country it's not the lowest right now it's starting to go back up is florida uh, much lower than no no floor is horrible but the good news on uh on everybody's vaccinated here so you know nobody's going to get sick or well, not, the numbers well, not everybody the vaccinated. not everybody's vaccinated here but it's pretty high percentage compared well, to in san francisco well, it's a high percentage yeah but the rest of the state i don't think it's well, la is even better the los yeah. angeles county I mean, is even in, better. In, in, you go to fresno or modesto you'll probably find a lot of low you know well low that's part of california farm 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 farm. yes farm. wait a minute hold on a second uh jeff connecticut is often the best mm-hmm but, uh, but California, they, for, at one point, California had the lowest uh, percentage uh, of infections in the United States. That's yeah. that's correct. Right. Yeah. But, now, but I'll bet you San Francisco has, has more people than Connecticut, the state does, right? Yeah. Yeah, but Connecticut, it, 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 the people up there were very good about attacking it. And the people here in New York were pretty good about that's attacking good. it. Yeah. I mean, we, at good. the height of, uh, of COVID, when it finally, we, when it first hit, we got hit bad because we were blindsided oh, yeah. by it. Yes. Uh, but once we did something about it, the rest of the country was going batshit with it. And we were in a pretty good, we were down to about a 1% uh, infection rate or something like that at the height. Of co- how, do you, of COVID. how do you like Eric Adams? He says he's going to eliminate the mask mandates for kids in school and things like that. Your new mayor elect? No, he's not. Yes, he is. He's not. No, he's not. He didn't say that, did he? he didn't say that. I don't think that doesn't sound like the kind of thing he would no, say. No, it doesn't sound like him at all. Uh, he's, very, he's very pro mask. Uh, no, he's he's pro. Uh, now, who who I almost I almost voted for Curtis Sliwa. Yeah, I did. Uh, no. I did, even though he brought those cats. Wait, I, wait, I, wait, but wait, I voted wait, 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 wait,
I did. Well, I he's, he's, when he's I did the guy, it. everybody. He, he's the guy who voted for Curtis Sliwa. <laughs> I know. Yeah. 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 You want a cat down to the thing. But I, the I almost was going to vote for him. I didn't vote, by the way. Uh, uh, because I was sick of, I went down last time to vote, and they, they then told me that your vote isn't going to be counted, and I, they didn't give me a reason why. So. Well, if you voted for Swila, you get a red beret. <laughs> That's right. Yeah, and then I can look like Monica Lewinsky. The only reason uh, uh, Tony voted for this guy is they were giving free cups of coffee away. I mean, I felt bad. I said, you know what, I'm going to vote for this guy. What, I like the Guardian Angels. You know what? I'm going to give the him Guardian a Angels were busy. a bunch of, of vigilante assholes. And he did stage some things. I voted for a guy who staged crimes, too. <laughs> yeah, I mean, but the thing is that the, uh, I almost voted for Curtis because at one point I got a call one day. Curtis wants you to be on his radio show. And I said, oh, really? Really? I said, I don't know. You know, he said, he's a big fan of yours. Hey, you, you better spit out that drink. Why? Uh, Eric Adams says he wants to end New York City mask mandates, calls himself conservative on crime. Yeah, uh, but wants but and will done. are two different words. Well, yeah. November exactly. 7th, uh, he's the mayor elect. I think everybody wants to eliminate the mask uh, mandate. Exactly. When's he the new mayor? Uh, exactly. January f uh, 20th. Or second or something. Yep. Uh, yeah, uh, he, uh, he's, he was elected. Uh, but he's the he's the mayor elect. And what news service was that on? New York Post. Oh, oh, it's, oh um, another it, yeah, he, yeah. He said he wants another to end cares. it, but it doesn't doesn't mean that he's going to. He I always he I, I want to stop he it. Too. He's not the mayor yet. I know. Good. But he's not going to end it. He's not going to end it until it's time to end it. You know right. what happens? We it, with, 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 with mayor, we got rid of one douchebag and got that. another douchebag. You know, he, he also gets he also gets a lot of his medical advice. He said during the campaign, from who your favorite buddy, Doctor Fauci. Yeah, well, uh, yeah, well, uh, well not, not according Fauci. to this. Uh, uh, he says, uh, uh, oh, so uh, uh, Thursday, Mayor Bill De Blasio conceded there's no currently no end in sight for masks in schools, but uh, so. Um, Adam says that uh, he's going to end New York City school mask mandate. Yeah, but that's that's the New York Post. But it's the right it's time, crazy. not not immediately. Well, hey, look, this is the news. It is it is written. It is written. And who and who owns that newspaper? Is, is garbage. Who owns that newspaper? Uh, I don't know. This is written Murdoch. by Jack Morfett. Uh, Gavin Rupert Murdoch. Murdoch, I believe. Yes, I believe so. Okay, is is he uh, an anti-American? You know. Is yes. He, oh uh, no, he is an American, well, but he only bullshit. became one because he wanted to own radio stations. Yeah. Well, you know, his sons are the ones that run Fox News. Oh wow! Imagine oh. that. And they're the ones that got rid of uh, Ailes and and all those other guys and and cleaned up the. No, uh, who got rid of Ailes were a bunch of complaining women who wanted Ailes right. out of there because he was. He was was the sons that stood up to him. Well, the sons hated uh, Ailes. Yeah. They always wanted Ailes out of there, but Dad wouldn't get rid of him because Ailes was a moneymaker for him. So you they know? killed him. Huh? Yeah. Well, he died. You know. Who? Uh, Ailes. Oh, oh, Ailes, yeah. 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 But, uh, you know, so maybe the sons had something to do with it. No, hey, I got a question. <laughs> yeah. Did anybody watch that impeachment thing on uh, FX? Yeah. That was but pretty good. Actually, I when I first started watching it, I felt guilty about watching it. Yeah. And yeah. as it went on, the acting was so good in it. Yeah. The yeah. writing was so terrific, and it wasn't sleazy. It's all no, about no. the Bill Clinton thing. With some, the only problem I had was the woman playing Monica Lewinsky was too short and too fat to be Monica yeah, it Lewinsky. Like her, yeah. Monica Lewinsky was, I think, hot. But she was yeah. pleasingly plump. She was zofting, I, is the I term. Thought the, the, the lady that played Paula Jones was great. Well, you know who that is? That's a woman on Be Positive on CBS. Oh, yeah. And she's yeah. also a Broadway star. She did uh, uh, Legally she's Blonde on Broadway, the musical. Uh, oh, her name is Annalee Ashford. And yeah, she yeah. is just the best. And I love her. She's yeah. adorable. She's great. Yeah. She played Paula Jones. And I mean, <laughs> and, and uh, Clive Owen playing Clinton and doing a beautiful good. job of it because he didn't he didn't overdo it you know yeah. 
he just did it very casually and yeah. it, it, he really embodied bill really well i mean i think it was a it was a very good series and marjorie who when we first started watching it went i feel guilty about watching this we felt guilty until we saw who the producer was of the show yeah monica Lewinsky. Wow. really yeah oh, wow hey yeah. uh has anybody seen one of the producers what, what, what going on with that live nation concert and those rappers the eight people that got killed mm -hmm. supposedly was, a, a was, was it eight people that were killed or more than that it was eight uh, there was several eight, yeah. uh injured and eight i think killed they um they, they they had a rap show at the warfield a couple nights ago they canceled it because they just you know it just the bad press and the bad. I heard that Greg Abbott had a front row seat, but wasn't there that night when the I don't well, think who, he who promotes to... the shows at the Warfield now. Uh, it's um, not Live Nation. Oh, it it's, isn't. Um, it's uh, AEG or oh, okay. Golden Voice, oh, okay. which is a division of AEG. Golden Voice. Live Nation's being sued over this, and I. Do you think that that's going to affect Live Nation's ability to do business, or no, no, it's so huge. No. It'll change the way they put on these concerts and not. Well, have they, they better they 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 better uh, get better security because the security mm -hmm. at these concerts are just. You know they're they're not very good. You know? I thought that was your job, John. Chief. Of well, I'll tell you what the no. problem is. What I'm not sure. I'm not security. I'll, I'll tell okay. you somebody who was who promoted public events myself. Um, uh, Live Nation and, and companies like that are are in this for a profit, and part of that profit is that the public enjoys going to your venues, and if you have it over policed. And you have people pushing you around, saying, "Don't go there, don't do this." You, know, don't. Yeah. you, you want to have as light a touch as possible because That's people true. don't go to a, don't pay what fifty bucks, sixty bucks to go to a concert only to be pushed around by some, you know, rent a cop. No, that's true. That's true. You know, so excuse me because you're a rent a cop, John. I'm uh, not. I'm an usher. You're an usher. You're a rent a usher. I sorry, only, John. Uh, I only show you where you where your seats are at. Yeah. Uh, sorry, I blew it for you, John. Hey, do people tip uh, the usher anymore? They never uh, did. Once, once in a blue moon, yeah, somebody will every once in a while. To move them in from in back of the column to in front of the column, you know, usually uh, there's a twenty. Uh, or, or so. Oh yeah, uh, yeah. Uh, there, here, people here. would always give me like twenty bucks to to escort yeah. them to get them down on the floor, you know, because I'd yeah. be working up in the top. Yeah. And, but then I got in trouble for doing that. You're not supposed to do that. Let me let me let me get into a subject here, which on radio, anytime we ever brought it up, the rest of the day was discussing this topic. Kyle Wittenhouse. Tipping. Or... Tipping, yeah. Tipping. Tipping, yeah. yeah. Hey, like for instance, know, I, Phil, I Phil, Phil, carpet... Phil, how yeah. much do you tip a waiter? He pit, he tips good. Twenty and twenty five percent. He's okay. a good tipper. How about you, John? Uh 20, 20 or 15. Jeff? 20. 20? Uh, how about you, uh, uh, Alan? Uh, 20. Hmm? How 20, about you, Tony? 20%. I usually, well, I go to dining, so I would probably tip 20% if I sit down. Okay. That's what I usually do. That's what I tip. I always tip 20. I, I, am, I feel guilty about it because I'll even, I'll even tip 20% for terrible service. I won't. No, and uh, you know, uh, otherwise I'll, I never I'll learn. I'll tip ten percent for terrible service, right? Because my I father, when I was growing up, my father indoctrinated me into saying you always tip, well, even if the service I, is bad, I, you tip. I yeah. used to get tipped as a carpet installer in New mm -hmm. York. Mm -hmm. In New York, people tip. Out here, people don't tip. It's uh, for certain kinds of services. And so, you know, I was seventeen, eighteen years old, and we found that the Jews would tip you. The Italians would feed you, and the <laughs> Irish, boom, they you got to fuck, fuck you. <laughs> or, or you got a bottle of booze. <laughs> but well, that—that's the way it worked back east. Everybody tipped service people. Yeah, whenever we go, whenever Phil and I go out to eat, he always tips at twenty, a lot of times twenty-five percent. What if, what if, what if the checks like about? You know, three hundred bucks. I tip know? that same. I, I twenty percent. Picked up. How many times have I picked up the t the check at Ruth's Chris? Many for many. six seven people. Many. Right, and I tip twenty five. 
And that's why you're going to die in poverty. He may be a Republican, <laughs> but he's not. He's a mistake. Well, State. here's the thing. Here's the thing. I, so, I mean, I was discussing this with a friend the other day. I will go unnamed. Uh, who said that he only tips like about 15%, you know? And I went, you know, I just, I could never tip 15%. The only time I tip 15% is when I'm taking like a lift. I'll hey, sometimes, do I'll, I'll, I'll do 15% only because the guy is making a nice chunk of money off the ride itself, and I'm just giving him something above and beyond that. Well, uh, do, do you take the tax off when you figure the tip? No, that's my problem. You see, what I do is I it's take It's supposed the tax to be before tax. And, and I double it uh, at a minimum. Yeah. So, because the tax here is almost 10%, nine and three quarters. Yeah. So if, uh, let's say the bill's uh, uh, $100, you got $10 in, uh, in tax. So I look at the tax and I double it. And, and oftentimes I'll double it plus. And uh, but at a minimum, I just double the tax mm -hmm. to here. If you up. double the tax in New York, I think it comes to 18 percent. That's but about what it tax is here. lower in New York than it is in California. Or maybe 17 percent. What? Your tax yeah, the tax, I think, eight and a half percent. You know, I'm nine and three quarters. And that's yeah. not my size. In Alameda County, it's nine and a half. Yeah. Nine and three quarters in Contra Costa. The Usually the way you do it is you double the tax. But do you do it before the taxes? Before the tip. Well, before, before the tax. tax. I, yeah, well, if you're doubling. Because I always do it after the tax. Yeah, yeah but if, if, you, if you just calculate, the tax is calculated on the purchase. So therefore. Wait a minute. Uh, wait a minute. What are we arguing about? Now every time you get a, 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 a receipt. It yeah. has the percentages there. Well, yeah, yeah, the recommended percentages. It, and, recommended you know, percentages. And they never starts, recommend 15 no, anymore. No, they started 20. 18. Is it 18, 18 and 20? 20. Hmm. Yeah, but I usually write in a custom one because I do, uh, I do believe in tipping uh, because I believe in the ethics of good service. And if you tip, some people say that tip means to ensure promptness. Uh, I don't believe that that's the actual definition. There's a tip. reason why it's called tip, and it is not to ensure promptness. I, I understand. It that, was it I, was something. It was I think service. a British a British term. Yeah. That was much longer. Yeah. You know, I don't know what it was, but uh, it, it it was shortened from that. Oh, yeah. Alan will look it up. You know what is what does tip mean? Uh, I, th I always well that's the part the end of your penis. That's the that, I know that it's that's not the right. only part I could get in. Yeah, so. Really, <laughs> it was the end of your penis. Was that the keyhole? Yeah. Before they started saying "ouch." Anyway, look, um, is that a, is, can I tell that kind of joke today? I, I'm I'm sure. trying to figure oh, out. Yeah. What, I don't know. Look, I was reading an thinking. article. I was reading an article the other day on why Seinfeld couldn't be shown oh. today. And, you know, that was maybe the most innocent show in television. I mean, it was dirty. Yeah. It was, I thought it was clean. It, clean. Well, it was, it, yeah, but it, it, what, the masturbation contest was a yeah, really come on, clean was episode? Me. I mean, they had to skirt around it, but they got it. They got the job done. <laughs> you know, but, they, like, there was an episode where uh, 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 Jerry's trying to figure out if this woman's breasts are real or not. Oh, uh, and, and Elaine... Bar brushes up against her in the sauna. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> yeah. It was played by uh, what's her name? It was on uh, the Housewives program. Yeah. Uh, <clears throat> and uh, the last line in it is in, is and by the way, they're real and they're what was yeah. it? magnificent, and, uh, magnificent. Yeah, yeah. yeah. beautiful. But 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 the question is, could they get away with that today? I was and the answer you is think no. That would fly, Alex? Today, well, eight o'clock at night. It's not in the family hour. I think they can get away with it. Or ten o'clock. No, 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 no. I'm Yo, not talking. You see, that's how you're old fashioned, Phil. Could they get away with it because of the cancel culture today? Yeah, I was just going to say that. Hey, Alex, what about the one with the uh, Puerto Rican Day Parade with the chickens? They don't I run mean, that. They don't run that anymore. I love that episode. But they don't too. run that episode. I laugh so hard when that That's is. the one that the Seinfeld and company decided to pull back and not play because wow, it might be considered racist. Yeah, yeah. 
Uh, that was the episode you would have loved it, Phil. I that know, was the I episode. Like that was the episode where Kramer refuses yeah. to wear a port of, a, a, a an AIDS um, a ribbon. Yeah, because yeah. he said, "Hey, I'm marching in the march. Isn't that enough? I don't have to wear the ribbon. I'm walking the walk." And he was absolutely right, of course. Yeah. And then so they beat the crap out of him. What about the yeah. one when Kramer was like Jerry's child? Remember that he thought he was retarded? He was yeah, I don't know if that was. Oh plays. my God, that was so good. Well, because I was he crying because he had that. a bad, he had too much uh, Novocaine it, from a dentist. You know, people and... like us from New York, we appreciate Seinfeld. Uh -huh. But Alan uh -huh. never watches Seinfeld. He doesn't yeah. like Seinfeld. He doesn't understand the New York Jewish humor. Well, I don't I think you had to, that was the height, the, the, the bottom of it. I mean, I think that it was, to begin with, nobody except for Jerry on that show was supposedly Jewish. You know. True. Uh, I think well, Larry David? Uh, no, oh, no, oh, no. But he wasn't, you no. know. Yeah. He but, was. you know, you had uh, Kramer was certainly wasn't. And uh, uh, Stanza was not. Costanza was not. Actually, he was supposed to be, originally when the show was written, he was supposed to be Jewish. And NBC said, nah, too Jewish. It's OK. Jerry's Jewish. Yeah. But, you know, to have two Jews on the show. So let's make him Costanza. And uh, but yet they portrayed both those characters, both the parents, as very Jewish yeah, parents. Yeah, you yeah. know, the mother couldn't be more Jewish. Uh, uh, Stiller. Yeah. 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 No, not young, not not Stiller, but the mother. Uh, yeah, Phil's Kermit. right. I don't watch Steinfield. I think I've watched it once. Steinfield? You don't watch Steinfield? Stein, Steinfield, Steinfield, whatever. I didn't find it very funny. Really? Uh, it was hilarious. It was the best stuff on TV. Yeah. Well, yeah. you know, the well, things you find funnier. It, it, it was like Johnny Carson. You know, you, you had to watch it because the next day people are going to be talking well, about it. Well, also, it has been named by most people who know comedy as the funniest series ever done. Yeah. Yeah. I think him and Larry David are genius. And, and Curb Your Enthusiasm did. comes a close second, although I, this year I'm a little tired of it, you know. I'm a little tired of. I can predict what's going to happen next, you know, they, what he's going to complain about. And it's you not, remind me of Larry David a little bit, his character, like when he complains, like he has that. Um, like I could see you complaining going to do your radio show. I don't want to go. I don't want to go. But like I could see. Were you ever like that, Alex? Like I don't want to go to the show today. Like, Every day of my life. Hey, uh, I just I just read a, a Newsweek uh, uh, headline yeah. that said Astro World fans yell. Man died five songs ago at Travis Scott on the stage, so you know they, they, you know they're yelling up to him. Yeah, but they were referring to Travis Scott. <laughs> yeah, really, <laughs> he was killing them. Yeah, yeah. Uh, it, he it, must have been a Republican. No, he just didn't stop. The problem with him was he didn't stop singing. Yeah, and the people were up there telling him people are getting killed in your audience, and he just kept doing his act. He encouraged them to come down to the stage and rush the stage. Yeah. Why didn't somebody with all the guns in Texas, why didn't somebody just shoot the guy? Because they were rappers, and I don't think they're allowed to have guns. Yeah. Well, who cares? So, that, you know, it's always better to they, they get their guns. They, don't. They, they get their guns the same way Tony does. He steals them. Mm -hmm. <laughs> well, I, 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 get it. I guess at that point, black lives really didn't matter. <laughs> yeah. you know, I'm serious. Whoa. I mean, if, boom. if you're going to say black Not lives boom. matter, you mean it in all situations. Yeah, you know. well, uh, Travis Scott is black, isn't he? Yes. 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 That was his point, Phil. So black, a Kardashian married him. Oh, really? Yeah, of course. Oh. Yeah. You, uh, you, you well, can't be you white and marry a Kardashian. You kidding me? There was that football player or something that uh, married uh, uh, one of them. Basketball player. Basketball married player. Married uh, uh, Chloe. Chloe. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Kim, well, Chloe, they're all And uh, what's his name, uh, the, this guy we're talking about? Uh, uh, well, it was Travis Scott. Travis Scott is, is, uh, is, uh, is uh, uh, which one? Uh, the, not, not a Kardashian, but a, uh, um, uh, who's the father? Oh, another, another famous. Who's the uh, father? Kanye West? Kanye, oh. No, the father. Oh, the we, uh, Jenner, Jenner? Jenner, Jenner, yeah. She, it's like one of the Jenners. I think Kylie Jenner. Is, yeah. her boyfriend is that the is billionaire uh, uh, model? Yeah, yeah. Kylie Jenner, her her baby, uh, 
her baby daddy, daddy baby it, dad what is what's baby the term daddy it's a baby, baby daddy, daddy. Is, isn't his name is Travis Carolyn Scott or something nowadays what the daddy the no, dad no. Of the, no. I, I, that's Caitlin Caitlin uh, thank you granddaddy then there's, uh, then there's a Randall. rapper named uh, Young Thug and he had that hit song Young Thug get out of my life remember that no <laughs> remember that song from the 60s Young Thug get out of my life yeah I heard that yeah, but yeah, it's yeah. not thug. <laughs> yes, it is. Hey, oh, you know not? who died? You ever hear of Melvin Van Peoples? Yes, I knew him. Yeah, he was, yeah. he yeah, used I to do my show. That. Oh, really? Yeah, yeah. I, I, when I was a kid, I loved his album Brea Soul. Yeah, he used was to he, do my he used to do my show here in the Mario York. Van Peoples. He's Mario Van father. Peoples was his father. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Sweet Sweetback's badass song. That's right. Great movie. Great movie. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, and so he he was like the father of the. Uh, black uh, uh, protest movement. Uh, no, the black uh, black exploitation movies. No, 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 no. He was not into Mario Van Peebles. Yeah, yeah. Mel Melvin Van Peebles. He was. He, he was. A, he was a movie director. He was. Yeah, but first... I don't think he exploited uh, any. No, but no, but no, it's just no, that uh, genre. Uh, of and what happened was, any time a movie came out made entirely with black people in it. They called them black exploitation films, but you right. know yeah. he didn't necessarily do black exploitation films. He did very black films about black problems and subjects and so on and so forth. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know, and then his son grew up and became a director as well and made a movie called New Jack City, which was filmed where? In your kitchen. You're looking at it. Really? <laughs> this apartment yeah, house that, is in it, that it, building. Every time, every the, the the name of the place in the film is the Carter. And I've had a not uh, not a few cab drivers in my time leave me off at my front door and go, "Oh, this is the Carter." I said, "Well, actually, it's the Graham Court, but in the movie, it was the Carter." Everybody thinks of oh, this is the Carter, and in in the movie, uh, what's his name? Um, I'm trying to remember his name now, but the lead actor. See, oh, well, I know John Nelson was in there. Well, who? Who? Wesley Snipes. Wesley Snipes has a, a picture of the building or a, a diagram of the building, and he said, This is where we're going to build the meth lab, and he points to our kitchen. Uh, <laughs> you know, uh, there's been a lot of things that have gone on in your building. There was a, uh, a stewardess show from the 50s, like uh, with TWA stewardesses or something, mm -hmm. and then yeah, there was yeah, that, uh, uh, something in the park. Uh, that I used to watch. Well, Mozart. Uh, Mozart. Mo 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 was it Mozart? Uh, something, something Mozart. Yeah. Anyway. Mozart, yeah. Phil watched the original Mozart. But, the, uh, the yeah, Mozart. that was, uh, and, uh, you know, I mean, and we have some, uh, Diana Ross's daughter lives in this building. Really? Has a very nice apartment, supposedly. And, of course, of course, I don't think he lives here right now, but what's his name? Uh, Danny Glover. Has an Ooh, apartment yeah. here that he lets his kids use. Yeah, yeah, uh, yeah. He lives in. San and they're all Francisco. paying more rent than you are. Hmm? Yeah, not anymore. <laughs> yeah. Uh, <laughs> yeah. Let's see. I'll show you. I got a Danny Glover picture I took. Well, no, uh, that's it, a good it, picture that you took to him, Phil. Yeah. Yeah. On stage there. Thank the God we don't have to sit around and watch pictures of Phil's vacation, because the theme <laughs> is about to play. Uh, anyway, that's it for tonight. Uh, not a lot of people calling, but a really nice show. Very nice, little, simple, roundabout yeah. discussion. I probably won't get any messages that I've just anybody off after the show. Well, yeah, I'm sure you will. Uh, everybody, send Al a, Alan a message that, you know, just say he ruined the whole show. Absolutely and, ruined it. And, yes. and pissed us off. And, you know, you'll, you'll, you'll enjoy that. Anyway, I'm used to it. Hey, that's it for now. Uh, I'm sure I'll be here tomorrow. I probably have a sore throat. Anyway. Take some zinc. Yeah, I'm going to take some zinc. Mm -hmm. Thank you, Phil, for joining us tonight and being a part of the program. Let's get off quick before we can see his picture of Danny Glover. Yeah, uh, 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 let's, uh, let's thank John Larkin. Always a pleasure to have you here, John. Jeff, if you weren't here, I wouldn't be a show. Okay. And uh, Alan, good having you here. And Tony, hey, what can I say? It's Tony. 
Anyway, everybody give a big wave goodbye and I'll give a wave goodbye back at you. Okay, there they go, ladies and gentlemen. That's our citizen panel. Let me get rid of them here because once I get rid of them, I become more in sync. Okay, see, once they go away, all of a sudden everything comes slowly back into sync. Come on, I'm, I should wait till I get completely into sync and then we'll be fine. Anyway, that's it for tonight. We'll be back again. Uh, Jack Bishop is next. He's here with the intersection. And then we'll be back again tomorrow night, same time, same station in life, 1030 Eastern Daylight Time, or Standard Time. In the meantime, as always, uh, think about this, folks. If you see her, tell her I love her. And by the way, still, if you haven't gotten the vaccine, wear a mask. And if you don't wear a mask, then get the goddamn vaccine. But be a good citizen. We'll see you again tomorrow night. Bye, everybody, where I'll be in sync. Bye.